Hello everyone, welcome back. So today, I thought we should talk about something that I've been thinking about, and that is about the League Passes. But not just League in general, this is mostly for video games, but I have a specific example with League because it, it's been recently the hot topic. And especially with the new Star Guardian event coming out, it definitely is the hot topic. Because I have a feeling about this event, and we'll see if it comes true or not. But it's sort of a self-fulfilling prophecy, what I'm going to say here. But could all, it could also, this idea I'm going to put forth, be translated to other video games similar to, quote-unquote, Fortnite. So, what is that idea? The idea is about expectation. So, originally when League came out, there was no expectation, right? It just came out, it was what it was, people liked it. And at the base level, it was very easy, well, you could argue at the time maybe it was hard with the spaghetti code, but it was very easy for the most part to kind of think of stuff for League, because there was nothing there aside from Rift and ARAM and for you old veterans out there, Crystal Scar, aka Dominion. So, because there was so little in the game yet compared to its varied history that we have now, you know, you could create fun new ideas. I mean, ARAM was, you know, a community idea that eventually got turned into a game mode. Hexakill, Twisted Tree Line, uh, Ascended, Ascension, I'm trying to think what else. Dark Star, the PvE game modes. There's been so much stuff, Earth, Doom Bots. There's been so much stuff now that's come out for League where it's like, okay, what else can they really think of? Not saying it's, impro it's impossible. Project Overdrive is another one. Not saying it's impossible. But more of the sense like, okay, we really thought like, okay, what can Riot really do next? And while it wasn't necessarily more gameplay oriented, Spirit Blossom was the next big thing I would say that Riot really knocked our socks off with. We were like, holy shit, a dating simulator in League of Legends? <gasps> like it was really cool for the time, right? Having a little story you could progress through, you could choose your paths, you could have different options of dialogue. It was a, essentially a dating sim, let's be honest. And then they tried it with Ruination and they kind of failed. And now they're going to do it again with Star Guardian. So what's the issue here? The issue is with expectation. At first, we didn't expect this whole big summer event of of a Spirit Blossom. We didn't know it was coming. We didn't we didn't have anything to base off of. It came and it was new, and it knocked our socks off. It did insanely well. But that's because it was the first iteration. After that, you know, Ruination kind of mucked it all up. But uh, now we're getting Star Guardian, where they're doing it again. And we're not even getting a PvE game mode. I would say Star Guardian is more focused on the PvE side of things. And again, I could be wrong here. But I think people, at least me, I don't really care for dating sims. I mean, yeah, it's going to be cool to experience new lore that hopefully is canon to the Star Guardian universe. Yeah, it's gonna be nice to get music, it's gonna be nice seeing the interaction and stuff, but at the end of the day, I've seen it before. Yeah, it's cool, but it's the same old, same old stuff. I want new stuff. And this is the problem with what happens with expectations. When you introduce something new, or you have the bar at a certain place, once you break it, the expectation becomes higher. It's sort of what's happened over time with video games. Over time with video games, people have consumed them at a much faster rate where they demand more. Video games are coming out and we're devouring them so quickly that they're taking more and more work and effort to put in because, you know, games have generally gotten better graphically, visually, underlying technology-wise, where they take longer to make and sometimes they do last longer too. I mean, you know, look at Skyrim and stuff. Versus, you know, games in back in the day, which I would argue sometimes we've played for even longer when we were kids, but Games last longer now, theoretically, or they take a lot more work, but should last longer But we devour them so quickly that the more you give us the faster we consume it and the faster we ask for more This has been the trend with video games for a while now More and more is coming out Granted, we can also argue the level and the quality of them, I think, in some, in very big ways, actually. They've gone down, but that's a more of a general industry thing that I've talked about in other videos. But in general, it's the same trend with expectations. Spirit Blossom came out. It was great. We loved it because it was the first time we saw it. We had nothing to base it off of. 
But then we expect it to get better over time. The whole system of dating sim and that whole yearly big event that Riot likes to do, we want it to get bigger. We want it to get better. I'm pretty sure this whole year we won't get something as big as Star Guardian. Maybe we might, but I doubt it. I really doubt we're going to get something as big as Star Guardian. Star Guardian is basically the big whole event thing. We all thought in the past it was going to be the Void event for this year. We're probably wrong. That's probably coming next year. The whole big Void event is most likely next year from what I'm seeing and what I'm hypothesizing. But it's very hard for a game to essentially keep up expectation because the expectation from the fans is that you're going to break the previous expectation and you're going to make things better. And at a certain point, it becomes very hard to do unless you're doing something new. But doing something new is extremely hard. I mean, look at what Riot said. Putting resources into like PvE game modes and all these new things that are just going to go away and lose player retention really quickly aren't worth it. Yeah, they have great numbers initially, but then they fizzle out. And that's why Riot keeps bringing back things that have consistency. They don't break expectations, which I think why a big event or a big deal with the community is things just kind of feel stale in League. I mean, look at me. I, I've grinded every fucking pass that has come out. And even now, I'm starting to think, like, maybe I shouldn't buy the passes anymore. Maybe I don't want to. Like, it's getting to the point where it's like, they're the same shit, and I am getting sick of League. You know, I've played it for how long? I mean, granted, I think I'll always go back to it. I do love League, but who knows? Maybe in the future something could push me off of it. But anyway, regardless, the only games... I mean, Riot is doing a good job, right? Not every game can do what I'm saying. I think no game really does it. No game can do it perfectly, because if the bar keeps getting higher and higher, eventually... It's going to get so high, you're not going to be able to break it. And then you're going to disappoint the fans, and it's going to get lowered. And then it's up to you whether you're going to break it again at that point once you actually can. Once it's lowered, it's way easier to break. But you kind of have to have that moment of disappointment where the fans actually do lower their expectations. It's a very hard thing to do. It's a very hard thing to keep up with. Now, the main two games that I think try and pretty much do a okay job at it is obviously one League of Legends. I think they're doing good, but they're starting to finally really hit their limits, at least right now, unless again, they blow my socks off with the Star Guardian event here. I don't think aside from lore, it's gonna be that crazy because we're already using what? Um, ultimate Spellbook again, where it's like the ultimate game mode. Like we're using that again. Yeah, it's gonna be a little different theme, but okay, big whoop. The expectation was something new, not something old, but touched up, or at least, you know, old but touched up in terms of pve but riot doesn't like that so it's like i don't expect great things yeah i think it could be okay i don't think it's gonna knock people's socks off it's not gonna be another spirit blossom because spirit blossom had nexus blitz and nexus blitz was fucking fun that shit was fucking fun i actually like it i wish it fucking came back honestly but you know a, a man can hope but um fortnite on the other hand also does it i think they're sort of hitting a limit but not really because i'm honestly surprised just how much fortnite pushes the bill each season if you were to tell me seasons ago you could sprint you could crouch you could res people you could hide in tents you could store your loot to the next match you could use cars you could use boats you could do all these other things i would not fucking believe you fortnite just used to be a game where okay you can break buildings you can build that's it no sprinting, no no doing all this other bull crap. No, no, no. No driving cars, no planes, no blimps, none of this bull, right? And, you know, forget about the creative mode because that's another animal in and of itself in Fortnite. But Fortnite has consistently pushed the bill where, and again, I don't think they're doing as good because over time, again, the bar gets higher and higher and you can only break expectations so much. It's not a thing where, okay, it's broken. That means it's great. Everyone loves it. There's a level to these things. You know, you've broken the expectation, but not as good as the first time. There's different levels to it. Fortnite, I think, is better at it than almost anyone out there because they just keep adding new stuff. But again, they're slowing down. But I think League is hitting it more harder where it's like, okay, you've introduced these new things, but the new things that are coming out are kind of slowing down. And the things we're expecting, again, maybe it's unfair for us to expect, aren't really knocking our socks off, which... Again, at a certain point, they're not going to, because that's just how expectations work with the common people. People don't know how to curb their expectations, but overall, that was my thought on it. We'll see if I'm right with the Star Garden event. Again, I don't think it's going to be bad. I think they definitely learned from Ruination, 
But I'm honestly just curious because I don't think it's going to be like amazing. I think it could be great, but it's going to be kind of just, you know, great. Hey, I'm going to this carnival. I had a fun time, but I've been to the carnival like every other year for like the past three years. I know what to expect. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, it's a little respite. It's nice, but I've done it. I like doing it, but I've done it. I want new. But anyway, yeah, that's what I think about expectations, about League, about the events and stuff and Fortnite. So if you have anything different to say or add, please tell me below. If there's anything you want me to talk about, please tell me below. I love talking. I love thinking, even though it drives me insane. And uh, I hope you enjoyed. Eee!